here we have an AC and the issue we're having is uh, the condensing unit is not turning on. What I always recommend is obviously making sure your thermostat is on the cool and auto position and now we're going to remove this panel and we're going to manually engage our contactor. Right now as I'm inspecting my system I can see here that my contactor is not engaged. I do have my thermostat set to auto cool so I'm not getting the signal sent out here to our contactor. The thing I want to do is I want to check to see that my contactor is getting 240 volts coming in from my disconnect. You can see here that I do have voltage coming in. Now I'm going to check the top of my capacitor. I'm going to manually push in my contactor and see if I'm getting the proper voltage. And I do have voltage on my contactor. Here I have my leads on my low voltage side and I can see here that I do not have voltage so I am losing power from my thermostat to this contactor. See here I am set to cool and auto. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off my faceplate and I'm going to test the voltage coming in to my thermostat. If you haven't had a chance to watch my uh, testing voltage video to thermostat, go ahead and watch that. That'll kind of give you the rundown of checking the voltage for each lead. So you can see here, I have my power coming in. That's my low voltage 24 volts. And then this is going to be my Y terminal is going to be my power for my condensing unit. And so right now I see that my thermostat is picking up voltage. So the issue is not here at my thermostat. The issue is going to be from my thermostat to my contactor. So here are my low voltage wires. This is what's coming from the interior of the building. And these are my two leads coming to my contactor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull um, these wire nuts and then I'm going to put my multimeter on and I'm going to test these leads to see if I have voltage coming in. Right now, I do have my multimeter touching uh, both leads. And here, I do not have a voltage reading coming into my condensing unit. The thing you want to do is you want to trace your low voltage wire. And see here, I've already traced my wire all the way through. And I found the problem. It's going to be right here. My low voltage wire has obviously been cut many reasons what could have caused this sometimes it's a small rodent that just kind of bites the wires uh, often i've seen children they're running around and they like to play around the condenser unit and they'll step on the wire and cause it to snap but here this is a nice clean cut and what i've experienced is a lot of times when the landscapers have their uh, supplies where they're trimming the bushes and cutting the grass they'll they'll accidentally cut the line to the condensing unit. This has happened on more than one occasion, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cut these wires, we're gonna tie them together, uh, wire nut them, and then we're gonna test our system. I put the face back on my thermostat, and I do have it on the off position. Go ahead and put your wire nuts back on to your low voltage. So here we have the low voltage wire. In this line we have three wires. We have the red, the white, and the green. Obviously you can see here, just my white and my red are going to be the wires that are going to provide voltage to my contactor. Here I connected my red and my white, I basically just push the green wire back and I'm going to put my wire nuts on and then we're going to insulate it using electrical tape. Here I put my caps on and now we're going to insulate it with our electrical tape. Now we're going to put our thermostat to the cool auto position and we're going to check to see if the condenser unit turns on. You can see here the condenser unit is running, which means we should have 24 volts coming to our low voltage side on our contactor. Here I have my multimeter on my low voltage wires. And you can see that I do have a reading of 24 volts. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.